Yo, what's up, Charles? Let's see. But it's still that same old black beat rhythm. I have a passport, yes. Here's the choice scarf. I need a choice specs. I need to trade that. Yeah, it's pretty late, isn't it? Yeah, you should definitely get to sleep. Thanks for the good luck. I have a couple fights to do, and then I get another Master Ball, and I can get another Roamer, which are really strong legendary Pokemon, so... I need choice specs. No, you don't want choice specs. Yep. You don't need an item, do you? No. You don't either. Nope. Let's see. You guys don't need items. It's literally just these two items that I need. And I need some pre-damage. How to rock and roll is still be 10. Yeah. So I need some pre damage. I need my Como O at 95 to be dead to Icicle Crash, 192. And base form Aerodactyl, no tough claws. So it needs to be at 160. Como O, 160 HP. This is important. Because Urshifu is never dead to dual wing beat here. Also, I'm choice scarf, so I'm faster than base form Aerodactyl, and I'm never dead to anything from Mammoth Swine, including Freeze Dry. And you're never dead to Freeze Dry at 160. This is always Icicle Crash, which is good. And then Magnezone needs to take Icicle Crash, min roll 50. So Icicle Crash Mineral is 50, and Dual Wing Beat Mineral is 32, and be at 174. 174 plus 50 plus 32. So 256. Alright, 50. 32 is 82. 82 plus 174 is 256. Perfect. I need to be at 256. What happens if I get, like, triple crit here? 88. Oh, whoops. Yeah, 88. And 58. Minus 88 minus 58 is 110. This is never double edge. With no item. This is never any of these. This is always EQ. Perfect. Okay. So Magnezone is perfect here. This is the pre damage I need. I still need a nickname for Archaeops and Urshifu. Doo 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 doo. She's hot and cold. She's got it all. Hot and loving every night. Whoa. Okay. 
just want to double check. This doesn't have tough claws yet. This is probably like unnerve or something. Not that it matters. And Como O at 95, 160. Perfect. I'm always dead to base form arrow. I'm always dead to icicle crash, fast kill on both of them. Very good. At 95. Okay. Now we need to get Magnus on some damage. One damage off, goddamn. Okay, this is the pre-damage I need. Urshifu needs the Choice Scarf. Oh, and Urshifu needs Ice Punch. That could have been bad if Urshifu did not get Ice Punch. There we go. Choice Scarf, Ice Punch. We're faster here, so this will see Slow Kill, Acro, and this will see Fast Kill CC. And this will see Fast Kill EQ. So we swap here on the free swap. And we swap here on EQ plus CC. This guy goes minus one, minus one. We Encore Mammal Swine into EQ. And this guy at minus one is always dead to Rock Tomb here. So we kill him with Rock Tomb. Let's turn one of Encore, turn two of Encore. We, we double up Rock Tomb, CC, kill Hydra again. Turn three of Encore, we actually Acro Mammal and swap into Choice Specs Latias with Psychic. We fast kill with Psychic, and we go back to Urshifu. Um, we probably get Venusaur first, which is fine, because we just Ice Punch Psychic, Ice Punch, Crit never procs Custap. And we Psychic. Because Shifu is Scarfed, it is faster than Latias. And this Ice Punch never procs Custap Berry. If it crits with Ice Punch. And Ice Punch plus Psychic always kills. Okay. I will try to defeat Evil Connor. Oh shit, I almost ran into that. I didn't realize they were so early. I, getting left guide shouldn't matter here. Because both Magnazone and Shifu will bait in Star Raptor. Uh, Magnazone will bait in Star Raptor fast kill. Shifu will bait in Star Raptor slow kill. 
256. I need to double. I'm gonna double check this magnesium pre damage. So it takes. So it's at 256. It takes 50 from Icicle Crash. Min for 206. And then Mega Aerodactyl will deal 32 min. Puts me at 174, which is always dead to CC. Perfect. And then Arrow. No. No tough claws. Base form. Dual wing beat on Como O is 160 min. And Shifu surging strikes the Aerodactyl with Choice Scarf. Shifu needs a Choice Scarf so that Star Raptor does not see Acro Fast Kill, basically. That's it. Does not need Choice Scarf because it's not gonna to outspeed anything, because it's not gonna outspeed Mega Arrow anyway, and, Mega, and Base Arrow doesn't see any kills. There's this Choice Scarf specifically so that when Star Raptor comes in it does not see Fast Kill on her Shifu, and instead we'll go for a Fast Kill CC onto Magnezone. Okay. This is fine, this is a two held item line, but if it's two scanner items. Specs Latias. Imagine if I had Latios. <laughs> okay. Perfect. We're going to Surging Strikes the Aerodactyl. And we are going to switch to Magnazone. We are not going to protect this turn. Como O is really good at baiting, but it's a really bad protect bot baiting. Because, like, it doesn't show kills to a lot of shit. <laughs> so it shows kills to, like, very specific stuff. So, like, even though my Como O has protect, the last, like, couple of double battles I've brought him to, he's never clicked it. He's just been out there turn one to bait specific moves, and then switch immediately. Because he baits really good moves into Magnazone. It's a really good combo, frankly. Como Odin into Magnazone, I use this on Rally and Ian as well. It looks like I didn't take enough damage, but... I'm at 166. I'm always dead to CC. And Mamoswine is always going to Earthquake here, so on the free slot we go Archeops. And on EQ... Plus CC, we go Palucha. Perfect. At minus one defense, Archeops Rock Tomb always kills. And we Encore Mammoth Swine into EQ. Turn one of Encore. You know what's interesting? Something I just thought of is locking a guy into EQ here with a doubles partner out that is immune.
can never trigger switch AI, like regardless, because if the doubles partner is immune to EQ, EQ gets plus two. So like EQ can't be minus five or whatever. I'm pretty sure EQ is like minus three, I think, right? Or does it get a lower than minus five score for being ineffective? I actually do not know. But anyway, we are going to Rock Tomb, High Dragon, and CC High Dragon. This is turn two of Encore. This is turn three of Encore. So we swap here. And we're going to Acrobatics. We do not want to kill Mammoth Swine right now. Acro Crit will never kill. Encore has ended. Choice Specs Psychic kills. And we go into Urshifu. We Ice Punch, we're Choice Scarf, so we move first. Ice Punch crit, never procs, cuss up. And then Psychic Ice Punch kills. Nice. Clean. Very clean Hope and Albert. <laughs> the only damage I took was on Magnezone and Halucha. The Como O was pre-damage. Sometimes. Okay. Cool trainer Caitlyn. My line for this guy is a little cheeky, I would say. Or not cool trainer. Oh, it is cool trainer. I named her fucking triathlete on my screenshot of my guys in my box. So, I'm. Double checking here. Wall range should see Super Fang as highest damage, yeah? Because nothing else deals more than 50% to me. So we lead Shedshell Magnazone. This should be Super Fang because it sees Super Fang as highest damage. Because Scald doesn't deal 50%. This is my understanding of how Super Fang works. We Electro Web turn one. He goes minus one speed. And then we Thunderbolt to kill. We are at 50%. Yan Mega does not see a kill. Ludicolo does not see a kill. Doug Trio sees fast kill EQ. We go into Halucha, and we unburden, and we kill with CC. We show fast kill here, and here. So we get Magnezone Discharge. We go Black Belt Como O, who is pre-toxic. Or we get Slow Kill Discharge, because this always kills me, especially after a CC. This could be Flash Cannon too, I guess, hey?
Well, I show fast kill, I show fast kill, I show fast two hit KO, and I show fast kill the base form pincer. So I can EQ encore this guy into EQ and acro him. I think is what I should do. So that this is never flash cannon and it's always discharge because flash cannon crit with pre toxic um, could get me random movie on mega. Um, so I come here, I am pre toxic with black belt and I kill Magnezone with CC. Should be air slash here. I mean, if it's bug buzz, it really doesn't matter though. Um, Cause I go choice scarf Archeops and this choice scarf is important. Cause I need to outspeed at the plus one Yon Mega and kill with rock tomb. So I go choice scarf Archeops and choice scarf Archeops here is really cheeky. So what's going to happen is, is it's going to show all that's left is Ludicolo and Pinsir. It shows fast kill to Ludicolo, and it shows fast kill to base form Pinsir with air slash and dual wing beat. So it's going to go Ludicolo with an eject pack. I rock tomb to lower his speed, and his stack got lowered, so he switches into Pinsir. Now I am showing fast kill to Pinsir, but now that Pinsir is in, it sees I'm locked into Rock Tomb, and it does not see that I have a fast kill on it. So it is not going to quick attack me here. It will go for highest damage frustration, because it sees that it's not dead. And then it's going to Mega, gain Flying type, and be dead to Rock Tomb. And die. And then Ludicolo comes back, going for Scald or Leaf Storm. And I can just go Lumberry Dragapult. And kill with darts. Now, in the event something weird happens and he does quick attack me, I have Arrow as backup with like a Citrus Berry. Because if I go, if I get put down to like, you know, 49% or whatever, I deal 52. I still see a kill. He's going to quick attack. And I'm like Citrus Berry here, basically. And I will try to kill. With Arrow. Anyway. So Arrow's my backup. This is a 5 mon line. Um... You just need to be pre-toxic. This is the Archie, this is the uh, Aerodactyl debut. Easy. Shit. 
Shed Shell, Electroweb, Thunderbolt, you have CC. Black Belt. Asperberry. Shed Shell, Asper, Black Belt, you need a Scarf, you have a Lum, you have a Citrus. I really hope Super Fang works this way, because I'm banking on it. <laughs> I'm like 99% sure, but you know, sometimes things get funky. Black belt. Dwib. it up here shed shell electro web thunderbolt ask your berry pre frozen orosphere CC Black Belt Pre Toxic Choice Scarf with Rock Tomb. You have a Lumberry, you have a Citrus Berry, you are a backup. Okay. It's right here. Wall rank, wall rang, wall rain should super fang us here, because that is highest damage. We are going to electro web to lower its speed. Or I guess it could go for whirlpool. That's fine. Still always duck trio. We're going to Encore and kill this guy with Acro. So that we don't get CC drops. So this is always Magnezone. Perfect. This is Discharge. Okay, this is always Air Slash. Our Choice Scarf Archaeops will outspeed. Crit never puts us in Defeatist. This guy does not have Detect. We fast kill with Rock Tomb. We show fast kills to Ludicolo and Met Pincer in the back. This is going to be Ludicolo. Ludicolo has an eject pack, though. 
So when one of its stats is lowered, it gets switched out. So we can fast rock to him and lower its speed and switch it out before it. This brings in Pinsir. So we were showing Pinsir a fast kill because when you have a choice item, for switching AI, the AI does not see your choice item. However, now that the pincer is in, it sees that we're locked into Rock Tomb, and because we are locked into Rock Tomb, it sees we do not kill it, which means it won't go for quick attack here. Um, the, the AI will go for a priority move when it sees that it's slower and dead to you to try and get some chip. It doesn't see it's dead to us anymore, so it's not going to go for quick attack here. But when Pinsir Megas, it's going to become Flying type and become 4x weak to Rock. So it's going to Mega Evolve here, not go for Quick Attack, and be dead to Rock too. If it went for Quick Attack there and like crit and put us below like 50%, then uh, it wouldn't have died there because of um, Defeatus. Now this is Ludicolo. We can't kill this thing with Rock Tomb. It's going to be going for, uh, when I'm at 200 HP, uh, Scald or Leaf Storm 50-50. Or not 50-50. Actually, this is always Scald at this HP. This is always Scald slow kill. So we go here on Scald holding a Lumberry. counter for that. Two eight. Yep. This is Jack Pack. So we will go for Dragon Darts and we will kill with Dragon Darts. Perfect. Five mon line. Frankly, I was a little upset to get Archaeops because I didn't have Rock Slide or Tailwind or anything, but I'll be honest, partly because I got a good Archaeops, but like, even with just Rock Tomb for Rock Stab, this guy's been popping off. Like, this moveset's ass. Th like, this guy's good. I would... It's sad I'll never really be able to experience the Archaeops from Fossil Revive, because Archaeops from Fossil Revive sounds... Like disgusting. When you get all of its good moves, um, you have it early enough that you might scale U-turn on this guy, or like knock off. Like this guy seems nuts in sandbox. Frankly, you can scale like head smash for baiting. You can scale knock U-turn. Like sandbox Archeops seems like one of the best fucking Pokemon ever. <laughs> it seems insane. Um, yeah. So where is this Master Ball? So that's the Gengarite. That's the next fight. Or that's the Charizardite X. That's the next fight. Oh, it's right there. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, who's got the Romer guy, Paul? I want Ted Thundee. But we'll bring Virtue. Sableye's got the Romer guy pull for sure, actually. Let's bring a team extremely weak to the fairy type. For like Enamorous or something.
I don't know if this is a good idea with trainers I might have to fight, but... Okay, so I'm going to double check what routes I have left. So I caught Latias on 128. I have not caught on 129. I have not caught on 130. I have caught on 131. I have not caught on 132 or 133. So I have one, two, three, four routes left. So. Is this really a smart team to bring in case of optionals? Possibly not. I'm just going to dodge them all. At least for 129 and like 130. I'm going to save again, just in case. Finally found a home. The winds. They're billowing.
No, I mean... Like, I already have my E14 decided. So I wanted something like... Um... Ted Sunday, Thunderous, or like an Amorous, or even like Landorus. Honestly, Landorus sounds kind of nice. My only ground type is uh, Ursaluna, so like a fast ground type sounds really nice. Do I have enough? I think I have enough. Nah, I want some fucking warm bodies. So, like, a few, a few things. A, if I wanted to, if I didn't already have my E4 team figured out, this nature, not worth complaining about. Because you would just scale it anyway. Right? But because I'm not using it for E4, because I already have my E4 team, it's like, fuck, man. Honestly, though, this is probably still really good, even with minus speed. So, you know what's funny, Bob? My casual playthrough got, like, I got Latios so many times in a row. I thought that the Roamers were in sequence, and that Latios was just the first one. Because I wanted to get the others, right? And like, I got Latios so many times in a row on my casual playthrough, I thought, oh, it just releases them one at a time. And it goes Latios, and then I caught Latios, and then the next one I found was Latias. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, it just releases them one at a time, when I played through the game casually. <laughs> like, I got Latios so many times in a row, I thought it was the only one. So the only two roamers I have ever found are Latias and Latios. Fucking Dracos, let's go. By far the strongest Draco in my box. It's not even that slow. Yeah, like... I'm leveling this guy up, I don't care. It's like 10 points slower than Hydreigon, with neutral speed, 31. Like, if I made this 31, it would not be that much slower than, like, Hydreigon, honestly. Like, this is not... Like, yes, it's going to need Scarf to outspeed stuff, but so does Hydreigon. And this thing can just drop Dracos that Hydreigon can't. And is, like, different typing can come in on fighting-type attacks. This thing seems disgusting. The more I, like, look at it, this thing seems nuts. I could quickball other roamers, Bob, but that sounds... I'd rather 
I don't know. I kind of would rather the warm bodies almost. I don't know. Like, I have guaranteed Dragalgy on Quick ball is content. You're right. I have guaranteed Dragalgy on 133 surf, though. And that seems potent. 132 is some ass, though. I might quick ball a roamer on 132. Um, so, like, a few things. Actually, I'm going to stop the music. I'll, I'll keep playing the music, but um, I'm going to turn it down on my end because it's really loud in my ear right now. Um, so a few things, right? If I go 133 Dragalgy Surf, guaranteed, um, I can guarantee Pidgeot surfing. Or I have Crawdont. I have Dragalgy, Gera, Milo. It's what? One in seven for Dragonite, fourteen, fourteen point two five eight, one four two five eight nine. Yeah, fourteen point two five eight nine seven percent to get Dragonite. One in seven. That's pretty good. Or I could just get the guaranteed Pidgeot here. So like, I think. Fishing 133 and getting this Pidgey out here is like probably kind of potent. And then, like, there's no way Frostlast does anything, right? I don't have any ice types, I guess, but like, I don't think there's any way Frostlast does shit. Right? There's just no way. This thing's gotta be ass. So I could just quick ball a roamer on 132. Seem like seems quick balling a roamer on 132 feels like the play <laughs> for content. But I don't know. Cause like I think Pidgeot probably might find its way to a fight. Um and Dragalgy will certainly find its way to a fight. Dragalgy is one of those guys that you can win that can win a matchup and then you sack really easy, right? Whereas I feel like Frostlass is straight up an eject button, which I don't think is as useful, right? Like a straight eject button seems a lot less useful than like a Dragalgy that you can win a matchup with and then use as an eject button, for example. Or like um a Pidgeot here that probably can like outspeed, fast kill something and win a matchup and then eject, right? So like I think like if I want to go content, I probably just quick ball a roamer on 132 is probably genuinely better. It feels harder to use a straight eject button than it does. I mean, I guess Frostlass is a ghost type. So maybe it can switch in on a fighting move and kill something, but I don't know. I also don't have a lot of straight up eject buttons. Like, I feel like Sableye is. Honchcrow could be a straight up eject button too. Like, these two guys are straight eject buttons if necessary. The rest, this is a straight eject button if necessary. This could be as well. The rest of my guys are like too good or too tanky to want to be a straight eject button. So I think I'm going to 
Quick ball of Rome around 132 real quick for content. I need to go here. So I don't accidentally go in the fucking waterfall. I already got both of mine. I got the both lattes. So I'm just going to quick ball whatever guy I find here for content. I don't need any of the roamers. I have I already have my E4 planned without any roamer. So I just kind of wanted a roamer that I felt would be good for like Victory Road and the rest of the game, which Latios fits that bill. I caught Latias because I wanted to catch my first roamer no matter what to increase my chances of getting one that I want. So. Oh, this is better. Do I have quick balls? I do. I got nine left. I got you, Bob. Yeah, I agree. I'm not going to quick ball other routes. Um, for those of you who just tuned in, essentially on 133, I have guaranteed Drake Algae fishing, which gives me guaranteed Pidgeot surfing. 
on 130 because I caught roamers on 128, 129. Because I caught them on my first two routes. And I caught arrow here. So, like, I think just fish Dragalgy for guaranteed Pidgeot here is fine. Not that, like, Pidgeot and Dragalgy are, like, incredibly good, per se, but, um, like, my logic here is, like, Reuniclus, Gengar, Bayonet, Frostlass that I can get here are, like, pure eject buttons. Like, straight up, you're probably just gonna, they, like, maybe Gengar can win a matchup somewhere. Right. Whereas, like, Dragalgy can come in with its bulkiness, probably win a matchup. Yes, and if plus two sacks, um, probably win a matchup somewhere, and then you sack it. And like Pidgeot can probably do the same somewhere. Right. You come in, you could maybe cheese someone with the Mega, win a matchup somewhere, and then sack it. So like, I think these ones are like much more useful warm bodies than like this. So I was like, let's go the content quick ball on these guys, because the guys I can get here are like some ass. This table is dog shit. Honestly, what I should have done is gotten my second roamer on this table instead of on 129, <laughs> frankly. Because then I could go Dra uh, Dragalgy, Pidgeot, and then have like 50-50 Anchor Skeeta here, or whatever. But Whatever. I don't need Barrasquita. We'll save it for New Game Plus. <laughs> I don't like. I don't need any other encounters. Everything else is just kind of a warm body. I have all the guys I need to beat the game for sure. Um, I don't know what Victory Road table I want to pull, frankly. Um, B two. It seems potent for like twenty percent Weavile. I haven't had, like, any ice types this whole game. I've had zero, I think. I've had, I, got, I think I've literally had zero ice types. Yeah, I've had zero ice types the whole game. So, like, I don't know. Maybe an ice type helps me somewhere. But... I, I want to pull 1F, because Venusaur seems good, Charizard seems good, Blastoise may be a little past its prime, but like these guys seem good. Um, Mence is good. Tater would be actually, unironically, kind of nice. I would like a Rock-type, since losing Hamilton, frankly. Like, like a Rock-type that isn't flying. <laughs> I feel like Tater might actually be decent. Uh, to help in a matchup or two. The problem with this is Metagross is fucking terrifying. I don't have Feather Dance on my Corviknight. So, like, I don't have a way to, like, lower his attack if he gets a bunch of Meteor Mash boosts. Um... And, like, his catch rate is fucking three. Yo, what's up, Lowry? So, like, Metagross on 1F, terrifying to me. Like, I might just throw a couple of balls and run away. Genuinely. Um, the, catching Metagross in Victory Road without a Master Ball, terrifying prospect. Um, thankfully, you do have Dusk Balls, which are better than Ultra, because you are in a cave, but, like... I don't have good ways to weaken this fucker either. Like, this guy just packs me up. You get one heavy ball, and it's not even that good against this guy, I don't think. Like, you, you get one, it's like on Jagged Pass or some shit. Hell yeah, Bob. Love that for you. So it's like... This guy's also kind of terrifying to catch, but Azu probably does decent here. Like, ideally I want a big tater... I mean, he doesn't have sl slide, I guess, but like, I don't have defensive rock type anywhere. And while he's not super defensive, he's bulky ish. Yeah, it should be better than a dusk, but you only get one. It's on like Jagged Pass somewhere. I think it's like hidden or something. 
if I recall. I don't have it, but I think there's like a hidden one on Jagged Pass or some shit. Um, Venusaur seems nice because I've had zero grass types this whole fucking game. <laughs> Ludicolo and Electrode barely count as grass types. Um, Charizard would be cool. And Blastoise just, you know, with the Mega, he gets Ice Beam. Seems like a decent guy. So, like, I want to pull 1F, frankly, but, like, <laughs> the Metagross terrifies me. I might, if I pull Metagross on 1F, I might literally try to, like, I'll probably eventually just run away. Since I don't have any way to lower its attack if it gets a bunch of Meteor Mash boosts. Like, I don't see myself being able to catch a Metagross. Um, but Magnezone's probably pretty good here. Because I, I also don't have a good way to weaken Metagross. Like, at all. It probably fucks up Azu, like, a lot. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to level up Slowbro <laughs> to catch Metagross, frankly. That seems like the play. Beware's probably alright. Because what does it have? It has Bullet Punch, Zen, Psych Up, Meteor Mash? You're probably okay. I'm going to level up all of these guys, basically. And I'm... Yeah. The problem is, I'm bringing everyone for, like, Metagross. <laughs> I think this should be diverse enough to catch everything, though. Like, I think this should be diverse enough to catch everything. Um, the problem is, I have no one here to run away. What level are these guys? <laughs> 85. Okay. I'm about to fucking calc this guy. I don't give a shit. If we got fucking careful nature, max bulk. Ape does just kill this with overheat. Okay. What is max speed at 85 here? 165? So, Melodic can run from Metagross. Good to know. Like, I'm thinking about dropping Beware for Pult, basically. Wait. No. Ghosts can always run away. So I drop Beware for Jellicent. Yeah, this is the play. I drop Beware for Jellicent, and then worst case, I like sack an Azu or something to get Jellicent in and run away. So I don't fucking wipe this encounter.
I'm going to buy more Dusk Balls. I'm also going to go here. I don't want to have to use this. I will probably not. But if I'm about to wipe, I'm not wiping to a fucking wild in Victory Road. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I'm not wiping to a wild in Victory Road. So I have that. <laughs> Just in case. Ideally, I don't have to use it. I will do everything I can to not use it. Thirty timers. I know what to do. I'm not gonna look. That's Charizard, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Bach Nation is going to be very happy. This thing, like, 100% just kills me at 85, right? As flamethrower, do we beat flamethrower, dragon pulse, flare blitz? Oh yeah, I am very dead to a flamethrower crit if it is modest. This is Fire Punch? Oh yeah, that's right. The dex is wrong. This gets Fire Punch at 44 and not do a wing beat. So this has Fire Punch instead of dual wing beat, which is annoying. <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah, dual wing. So here's what happened, okay? This dual wing beat is fake. It's listed twice. This is fake. It has fire punch instead. So its moveset is just ass. 
It has no flying type move. Unless you if you unless you scale air slash. And you have to delay for overheat. He has flamethrower at least. Yeah, I mean, Megazard X still has 130 special attack. Like, it's not bad. And the typing's pretty good. I wish I had dual wing beat, but... So I got a couple of items to get in the rapids here. I have two scales. I have two scales and a rare candy to get. Okay. Oh, this is a completely different swimmer. I thought this was a completely different swimmer. I don't think that one's in the documentation. I think that was a swimmer that was left behind. <laughs> I'll be honest. Oh, actually.
I just need the last heart scale. Close combat, flip turn, liquidation. Okay, I am like dead to CC crit. Oh, I have fast kill this. I do not fast kill this. I don't have scarf. I do kill this with Draco. I am not dead to CC crit technically, but this thing's going to CC me. This Galissapod is first impression, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I'm like definitely dead to first impression. Oh, yeah. Sucker Punch, Leech Life, First Impression, Liquidation. Aqua tail. No, not jet. Aqua tail crit max rolls 136. Scale shot. Thrash. Bounce. Don't do shit. There you go. Yo, what's up, Tablespoon? I am. There's some like optionals on this route that I'm trying to dodge, but I'm also trying to like I don't know exactly which ones are which, so I need to like make sure I have teams that can do things. I have an idea of what a few of them are. So I'm trying to make sure I have a team brought that can do stuff against them. Feeling when I'm holding your hand.
Okay, we lead Hydra here. Surf here. There we go. Okay, there's two heart skills left in the game. What route am I on? I'm on 132. Okay. I need to catch on 133 still. Um. I don't have a good team for catching Dragalgy is the thing. <laughs> That's the problem is catching Dragalgy is going to suck because I don't have a good team for it. Unless I bring Korv here, Korv will be fine. Uh, you will be good. Actually, I want to keep Prim. Melodic. This is 133. I need to catch on 133. Yep. Surf. Can this get me an encounter? Doesn't look like it. Wait, did I deactivate? I did. Yeah, this should be fine. I have guaranteed Drake Algae here. What is this fucking encounter rate? Hello? Out of here. Oh shit. Okay, I'm on 134. I gotta go back. <laughs> I was feeling bad about the cacophony with my fucking game music playing and I forgot to mute it. Oh, I already got an encounter here. Oh shit. So I'm gonna mute my desk to uh, my game audio here real quick.
I am gaming out. Okay, I am saved here in case I fucking... There we go. Easy. Okay, that's one thirty three. Yo, holy, <laughs> holy. It's a good IVs there. Okay, I got one more encounter left in the game. And it is on Route 130. And it is a guaranteed Pidgeot. In the sea, a forest for the trees. Where does 131 start? Right here.
These are our dupes. So I have guaranteed Pidgey out here because I have everything else duped out. There we go. I actually need to calc this real quick. Can Pidgeot at level 80 Hurricane Double Edge Mirror Move Brave Bird? At level 80 Brave Bird Hurricane. Okay, crit does not kill me. Even if it's like plus special attack or plus attack. So. Easy. I forgot to nickname it. Oh well. That's good speed. That is good. Where it's at. It's as simple as that. Let's export these guys to my calculator. There we go. There you go, I added two new megas. I still haven't fought the battle for Aerodactyl Mega yet. I might have to fight that. I don't know. I need to go pick up the Pidgeotite, though. It's actually kind of crazy. Okay. 
My box is now complete. So there is nothing left for me to acquire. All that's left to get are two scales and Victory Road. Um, Rocky Helmet. Eject Button, Eject Pack. Sash and a couple of berries on the optional routes. It's as simple as that. Let me get the Pidgeotite. That one's free. I actually can't believe I've gotten every encounter. There are no more encounters left for me to get. I already grabbed this at some point, even though I didn't have Pidgeot. Look at that! So since I have every encounter in the game, and there are like 30-something, 30 31 fights left before the E4, I'm probably ending today. And then I'm going to plan in reverse, essentially. Because then that lets me sack guys, basically, when I don't need them anymore. But I don't know, maybe I won't plan in reverse until I complete VR specifically. We can take a look at this fight. This is the next one, yeah. Sturdy, wonderful. And my fake out doesn't do anything because the leftovers is going to, uh, <laughs> That's actually really annoying. I guess Corv like leads this just fine. Yeah, because the leftovers are gonna get rid of any fake out damage I do to him. Otherwise I could just fake out and go like natural gift steal or something. And crush this guy.
Wow, that doesn't even it does like no damage. Holy shit. Never mind. Holy moly. I guess I just lead you. I smart strike, I roost, or I defog, and I smart strike. I always have explosion crit. If I'm full health, who do I bait? Too bad I can't just go, like, Scarf or something and show this guy, like, a fast go and get, like, fucking V-Draw early or something. But I would get Como O. Mm, no, Slow King would be slower out damage. No matter what. I'd get Slow King or Como O, basically. I hate that variance on this for real. I go choice band crunch and kill this fucker. Have to be pre toxic though to prevent burn from scald. This guy would just see slow kill. No, I'd see fast kill anyway. I would get muck no matter what, which really sucks because he could just explode. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> cool. I am slower in this combo, oh, which is annoying. Wow. Why is this B fucking jolly? That's crazy. Um. Not enough to just kill this guy with choice band EQ through sturdy. That would be kind of epic. Not gonna lie. Not enough. This kills.
Okay, let's figure out my bench real quick. I'm debating what I want to do. I think I'm probably going to be done. And start planning stuff off stream. Because I like there's nothing left in the game for me to get. I have everything I'm going to be get it, I'm going to get. And there's like 31, possibly 32 fights if I need Mega Aerodactyl left for me to do. Um, which is few enough that like you can just plan them all back to front. So I'm going to be done. Thank you for 